Welcome to today's video. Um, so a while ago we showed how to extract uh, files from the file system from a unikernel running on Amazon. Um, we're going to show you the same sort of process but done on Google Cloud today. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this is the same example that I used when I did the Amazon video. Basically it's uh, it boots up, says hello, and then it um, stashes this nuclear launch code into a file called slash secret. Starts a web server only so it's, you know, running for a little bit and so we can kind of test that it's running. Um, pretty basic. So we're going to go ahead and uh, create the image here. But it already exists. So we can do uh, this. That should delete it. It says yes. All right, so it deleted it, and then let's try that again. I guess I could have just used that image, but this will show you the whole the whole process from start to end. Okay, so our image got created. Now let's create an instance. Okay, so now our instance is created. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a ops instance list, something like, I believe this gets me more stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and see if it's up. Looks up. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stop the instance. So let's go ahead and pop into the image here. Now, technically, I don't think you have to do this, but this is the safest way. So. We're just gonna hit stop. And uh, basically once it's showing is stopped, we'll uh, be able to export it. And so similar to Amazon, we're going to basically create an image of the uh, boot disk. And then we're going to um, export that into a bucket. And from the bucket, we can download it, convert it, and uh, you know we'll be able to get at the files. All right, so it says it's stopped. So we go down to boot disk. Um, this is what we have. This is what actually is booting up. And now we're going to do a create image. Call it a GLD3. Let me just hit create. And so once this is done creating, um, which is fairly fast, we'll be able to export it, which is this nice, this little button here. All right, so it's been created. Now we can export it. And I'm going to choose VMDK here. Um, technically, you can choose whatever. Uh, we work with raw volume, so I'll show you this step here. But we'll just do this for ease of use. Just go D3. Um, and basically, the nanos test is the bucket that I'm putting it in. OK. So we have our export history. This 
this will basically show you the process. Um, as you can see, uh, just by looking at these past, you know, it's, it's basically like a minute is how long it takes, but I don't even think it takes that long. can see the uh, the logs looks like it just got done yeah all right so um, export uh, finished so now what we can do is we can go to our bucket and search for GLD 3 it's right here and I'm gonna hit download okay so now we got the file okay. all right and now we're going to in here so remember I said that this was VMDK right um, which uh, file says it is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this QMU image right here this guy um, I'm gonna copy it and we're just gonna say GLD3 okay so now we just copied it to the raw format and we're going to move it into our directory so we can actually kind of use it and now we should be able to start looking at our uh, file system which you can kind of see that um, it's working right do a little tree on it um, we could even cat out our secret and the nuclear launch code is one two three four five all right so that's how you export a, a unikernel image from Google Cloud and you can look at the file system and extract anything that you might need. Till next time.